Is there ever a time when one plus one is greater than two? Well, in this demonstration, what we would like to do is to show you that sometimes that can happen. What I have is I have two reagents. I have with me sodium hydroxide solution, two molar, and hydrochloric acid solution, two molar. And I have pre-measured quantities, but I'm going to bring them up so that I have exactly 500 milliliters of each solution. And I'm going to do that by adding and bringing it up right to the line of the volumetric flask. Now, no doubt you have some volumetric flasks in your laboratory, and they are usually used to prepare molar solutions. And what we want to do is we want to get exactly 500 milliliters of the two molar sodium hydroxide and exactly 500 milliliters of the two molar hydrochloric acid solution. Now, once we have exact quantities, we now have 500 and 500. Is there a time when 500 plus 500 does not equal 1,000? Well, I have a one liter volumetric flask here, and I am now going to transfer the first the base solution, pouring carefully, and we are going to get the full volume into the flask. Of course, we probably already know pretty much what the reaction is going to be here when we take a base such as sodium hydroxide and we add to it hydrochloric acid. We know that we have a neutralization reaction taking place and we know that the two solutions do react very readily. Now adding the acid, we will see in the flask some of the mixing taking, taking place where the reaction is actually occurring. The hydrochloric acid, hydrogen chloride, is reacting with the sodium hydroxide, and we get reaction. Notice again that there is this mixing effect where you can see the two solutions mixing And uh-oh, uh-oh. We take a look at our flask, even without mixing yet, and we notice that the line for one liter is down here. We actually do have 500 plus 500 coming up to be greater than 1,000. I'm going to temporarily invert this just to be sure that we have total mixing and hopefully complete reaction between the two. And we might notice that it has even gone up slightly further with that mixing. Now, where did this extra volume come from and exactly how much is it? Well, if we go to the blackboard and we look at the equation for this, very simple concept is that for the general chemistry class, one mole and again, 500 milliliters of two molar is one mole of sodium hydroxide plus the same quantity of hydrochloric acid, same concentration, yields one mole of sodium chloride and one mole of water. Did we, in fact, create water here? And of course, the answer is yes. What I'm going to do is now take the water that was created in the reaction and transfer it to this graduated cylinder. Again, removing the water down to the line of the volumetric flask. And if in fact we created a mole of water, simplistically we can say that we should get 18 milliliters of water. And when we take a good close look at the graduated cylinder, we produce 
18 milliliters of water. Now, this is a very simplistic explanation for a possibly very complex situation. It's not quite as simple as this. There are other things happening in the flask, but for a general chemistry class, we have a very simple demonstration that illustrates at least a good example of production of one mole of water. Of course, some of the things you might want to consider would be the fact that, in fact, this is a little bit warm at this point, so we'll have some thermal expansion. And also the fact that the different molecules are now reorienting themselves and possibly contributing to some of the increase. But there is no doubt that the most of that volume change is caused by the production of one mole of water.